spicy and sweet mushroom strips are the star of this easy fajita drizzled with a miso maple tahini dressing. Grill up some marinated portobello mushrooms, add in your favorite fajita veggies, and dig into your epic fajita feast. I'm a big fan of a fajita night. So when Brian and I created our sesame mushroom strips, which are great for putting on bowls or noodle dishes or even serving with mashed potatoes or sweet potato, we knew that they needed to inspire a fajita. So I'm going to make those sweet and spicy marinated portobello steak-like strips, char up some veggies, make a five minute, one bowl, mess-free dressing, and serve it up on a tortilla. I'm making six fajitas and using four portobello mushrooms. Do you wash your mushrooms? I think there's still a bit of debate, but I used to wash them. Now I just brush any dirt off with my fingers or a vegetable brush. This way, the mushrooms will soak up all the tasty flavors of the marinade and not the water that I have washed them in. I also used to struggle to get these stems out. I used to try to cut them out with a knife, but just grip it firmly, give it a little twist, and pull. And it's as simple as that. And make sure to keep these and toss them into another recipe like a tofu breakfast scramble in the morning. Slice your mushrooms into half inch thick slices. Lay them in a shallow dish and combine the marinade ingredients. Half a tablespoon sesame oil, three tablespoons maple syrup, a quarter cup tamari or soy sauce, one tablespoon tahini, grate or mince, one tablespoon fresh or frozen ginger, one teaspoon fresh garlic, which is about one clove or use a powder, and some spice. I'm using one red chili pepper with the seeds removed, but you can use chili flakes flakes, a hot sauce, or ground cayenne pepper. Give this a stir and pour it over your mushroom strips, turning the strips to make sure all sides are coated in the marinade. Ooh, that always happens. Doesn't your spoon always end up in your sauce? Well, let these sit for 10 minutes and while these marinate, I'm going to char up our other veggies. Heat a skillet over medium heat. You can add some oil if you'd like. I'm just going to add two cups frozen corn kernels right in. These will take eight to 10 minutes to char and get nice and browned. In the meantime, I'm going to slice three bell peppers and one red onion into long, thin strips. If you hear the corn starting to pop, that's when you know it's ready. Toss in the onion and stir for about one minute. Then the peppers, season with salt and pepper, and let that cook for a few minutes until the peppers are soft. Why do I have an orange out? I don't think this is for this recipe. I think I'm thinking of our other taco. While these veggies cook, grill up your mushroom strips. Lay the strips in a single layer on a grill pan if you have one, and grill three to five minutes on each side. Look at how great these look. Miso maple tahini dressing, miso maple tahini dressing, miso maple tahini dressing. With all of these warmed grilled veggies, I like some warm tortilla. So heat these up in the microwave or in the oven and there's just one more thing to do. The miso maple tahini dressing. Did I get it? One tablespoon miso paste, two tablespoons warm water, stir to dissolve the miso in the water. Add in a quarter cup tahini, which is a sesame butter, two tablespoons lemon juice, three teaspoons maple syrup, and half a teaspoon sesame oil, which is optional if you prefer an oil-free dressing, but it does give it a deeper and richer taste. Time to make some fajitas. And yes, there are bunnies on this plate. If you saw that, your eyes are not deceiving you. some flavorful fajitas, the sweet and spicy mushroom strips, the creamy tahini dressing, the crisp toasty veggies. This is a pretty good fajita night. If you don't have some of these ingredients, you can really simply grill up these mushrooms with your favorite barbecue sauce and load your fajita up with your favorite toppings. All in all, these fajitas cost us $3.40 a fajita. So this whole meal, the six spicy, sweet mushroom fajitas, costs us just under $20, which is on the higher price range of our typical meals. The mushrooms, the peppers, there's some of the pricier veggies that we buy. But if we were to make this with flank steak, our cost would go up by $5, but likely $10 or more. And if we were to treat ourselves to a nice fajita night out, we would likely pay $15 to $20 a person. So all in all, this is a pretty thrifty fajita night. Am I dripping? You're dripping. Ah! <laughs> I can see Brian going. Mm.
So click those links below for these recipes and subscribe for a new video every Sunday at five. And next Sunday's video is our energy ball challenge. We have asked you what flavor energy ball you want me to make. I don't know what your answers have been and it is torturing Brian to not tell me because he is not very good at keeping secrets. We tend to open Christmas presents quite early. So tune in next Sunday to see what the big reveal is and see how I do. I'll see you then.